Tonight on the Watchlist series, Hope and Reality. The ongoing coronavirus story is the topic of this episode of the Watchlist series. Thank you for joining us tonight. It has been a hectic couple of weeks with the COVID-19 pandemic raging. Lockdowns from Italy to California and what appears to be a slowdown of the disease in China. Now, as of this moment, the novel coronavirus has spread to well over 300,000 cases worldwide. Recently, President Donald Trump reported that two potentially game-changing drugs would be accelerated through the clinical research process. Now, they included Gilead's remdesivir and an anti-malaria drug that has been around for decades called chloroquine. Now, the president declared he would work to slash red tape and bureaucracy, which is needed given the imminence of this unfolding health crisis. Now, as it turns out, the two drugs President Trump introduced already in clinical trials do show promise, but are not cures or vaccines by any stretch just yet. Now, we here at Trialside News although a beat, are candid, straightforward, and objective. Experts suggest we could be a year or more away from a COVID-19 vaccine. Now, that being said, Gilead's remdesivir does show promise. Originally developed under a collaborative agreement between Gilead, University of Alabama, and the NIAID, it is an Ebola vaccine. Now, this promising experimental vaccine is currently the investigational drug in clinical trials, both in China and the United States, including at the University of Minnesota. With some controversy in China, the Wuhan Institute of Virology and the Military Medicine Institute sought to actually patent from Desivir in that nation. But there is just one problem. Gilead owns the technology. Apparently, that plan may have been scuttled by higher-ups in China. Now, meanwhile, chloroquine, an anti-malaria drug, has been around for decades. There is some evidence that it can work on the novel coronavirus, but so far only in a lab setting. It has not been proven in animals or humans for the COVID-19 virus. Studies have opened up involving University of Minnesota and others in places such as University of Queensland and China. Now, aside from this, there are some other advanced experimental COVID-19 vaccines and treatments to consider. For example, Trial Site News wrote a special about Massachusetts-based Moderna, a pioneer in a new class of drugs, messenger RNA therapeutics with huge potential. A clinical trial being conducted at Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Institute tested their first patient using Moderna's mRNA-1273, sponsored by the National Institutes of Health's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Emory University is also participating. Next, a competitive advanced Advanced therapy competing with Moderna's RMNA-1273 includes Germany's BioNTech, which just extended a joint development partnership with American giant pharma Pfizer. Now, this German venture has some billionaire brothers behind it. CureVac also have big German money, plus the Gates Foundation. With such great promise as a possible vaccine, there was some controversy earlier this month when purportedly Donald Trump invited the CEO to the White House and tried to make him an exclusive deal. And several days later, the CEO was sacked and the founder moved back into the operational helm. And finally, Regeneron and its Velequisite platform, which was used to develop a treatment for Ebola, or REGN EB3, currently used by the Congolese government to fight that horrific virus. The New York State-based venture has, like many biopharma companies, dedicated a full-force operation to target COVID-19. Now, in a 24-7 operation, the company reports sleepless nights and headway toward a potential vaccine. After initiating hundreds of virus-neutralizing antibodies, they have declared publicly plans to initiate large-scale manufacturing by mid-April with antibody cocktail therapy with the potential to commence human clinical trials by early summer. Trial site news can report that there are over 100 active clinical trials involving a potential vaccine or treatments for several respiratory ailments associated with extreme cases of the disease. Now, our research team is monitoring many of these closely. Although in the short run, 
We do not have a cure nor a vaccine. We do suspect that in the intermediate to long run, we could see a vaccine in a year to 18 months out. Now, in the meantime, government will seek to enforce strict social distance rules, suggesting it is far better for people that they do not interact with others where and whenever possible. In the meantime, we'll keep on reporting on everything COVID-19 on TrialSite News, and you can find constant updates on TrialSiteNews.com. From TrialSite News, I'm Adrian, and this is the Watchlist series. Thanks for watching.